The perspective on Neanderthal art has undergone a significant shift in recent years, moving away from the long-held assumption that Neanderthals lacked symbolic culture and artistic expression. This change is largely due to groundbreaking archaeological discoveries that have revealed a more complex picture of Neanderthal life. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence for Neanderthal art comes from cave paintings. In Spain, the El Castillo cave features a red disc that has been dated to at least 4,800 years ago. This period predates the arrival of modern humans in Europe, suggesting that Neanderthals were the artists. Similar discoveries in other caves like La Pasiega and Ardalis have reinforced this notion, presenting clear indications of Neanderthal engagement in symbolic and artistic endeavors. Beyond cave art, there is evidence of Neanderthals using pigments such as ochre, which they might have used for body painting or other decorative purposes. The Grotte du Rennes seat in France is particularly notable for yielding personal ornaments like beads and pendants, hinting at a Neanderthal sense of personal adornment and possibly even a form of social or cultural expression. Additionally, engraved stones and bones have been uncovered, featuring patterns and lines thought to be intentional engravings by Neanderthals. While the exact purpose of these engravings remains speculative, they may have held symbolic or communicative significance, further indicating a capacity for abstract thought and expression. Moreover, the discovery of constructed structures such as the ring-shaped formations and stalagmite stacks in Brunichel Cave in France suggests a level of abstract thinking and planning. While these structures are not art in the traditional sense, they reflect a sophisticated level of cognitive ability that aligns with the capabilities required for artistic expression. The significance of these findings is profound, as they suggest a level of cultural complexity in Neanderthals that was previously thought to be exclusive to Homo sapiens. This evidence not only challenges the narrative that artistic expression is unique to modern humans, but also underscores the shared cognitive capabilities in the human lineage. Furthermore, the overlap in artistic expression between Neanderthals and early modern humans raises intriguing possibilities about cultural exchanges and influences between these species. However, it's important to note that attributing these artworks definitively to Neanderthals can be challenging. In regions where Homo sapiens might have arrived around the same period, determining the exact creators of the art is complex. Additionally, there is likely a significant preservation bias in the archaeological record, meaning much of Neanderthal life and culture might not have been preserved or current methods may not fully uncover or interpret their cultural practices. In summary, recent archaeological discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of Neanderthals, revealing them to be more culturally and artistically sophisticated than previously thought. Their ability to create art and use symbolic objects is a significant aspect of understanding our closest extinct relatives, providing deep insights into the evolutionary history of human cognition and culture. This is an ongoing study and we will keep you updated. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.